What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. This is a little bit of FNAF news as well as kind of like a theory video because we've actually got a little bit of kind of, not really a preview, but like, I don't know, we've got some more information about Tales from the Pizzaplex and it's very interesting, but there are minor spoilers. I'm not gonna say there's major spoilers because it doesn't like actually tell you what happens in the stories, they just, tell you about the stories kind of so it's it's very brief but it's it's like it's completely fine you can watch this video without getting spoilers for Larry's game really okay so basically the FNAF news is that we have an early review of Lally's game which reveals details about the stories within and yes there are spoilers this is from Kirkus reviews don't know who the hell that is that sounded very bad of me to say I'm sorry Lally's Game from the Five Nights at Freddy's Tales from the Pizzaplex series volume 1 out of 12? So guys yes, 19th of July 2022 is when this book comes out. That is in May, June, that is in two months. Two months from now. That is like the next big thing that's coming out of FNAF. We've had the Fazbear Frights. That's all done with. Apart from the graphic novels which we're going to talk about in a separate video soon. But really yeah, this is the next big thing to come out of FNAF and I'm really, really excited for it. But let's read through this because this, this is like a very brief like paragraph of uh, information about these stories, but some things that we haven't, we, d we don't know about yet. For example, the third story is actually called Under Construction. We didn't know that. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit today. Uh, I just want to briefly go through this. You can make your own opinions about this whole summary thing. I don't want this to be a massive long video. I just want you kind of to form your own opinion, but I'm showing this off to you. It's not even, yeah, it, yeah. Enter the Pizzaplex and discover what surprises come next. In the latest entry in the Five Nights at Freddy series, readers get to know three young women through short stories. In Frailty, which is the second story in the book, high school student Jessica, just wants to help those around her. She has a janitorial job at a local hospital where she uses her unusual pendant to heal others. So first thing I was gonna point out is it said high school student Jessica, and I instantly thought of Jessica from Together Forever, who is a high school student. She was the prom queen, or she was like a prom queen out of two, it was weird. But I don't think this is the same Jessica, even though I do think that there's going to be some overlapping between universes. Um, well, okay, I say that, but I think that they're all going to be in the same universe eventually, but... Listen, I'm... <laughs> it's really hard to describe what I think, but um, I, I do think this is going to be connected to both the games and the Fazbear Frights. So, uh, one thing that I will say about this is, yes, we have an unusual pendant that heals others. Um, and this is where I'm stuck. <laughs> because a lot of people are saying this is going to be the Eleanor pendant from Fazbear Frights. And that's a good theory. Obviously, that's the only other pendant we've ever seen in the series. Uh, and it'd be cool if we got it back, because at the end of Fazbear Frights, at the end of the Stitch Trade Stingers, uh, of course, Eleanor's dead. <laughs> Eleanor's gone forever. But the pendant is still there. So maybe it gets handed down to someone else or some scientists get a hold of it and create something new or something. This one does heal others. We don't know if the pendant from the Fazbear Frights can do that, but this is all very interesting and it could be a possible connection already to the Fazbear Frights series. What I will say is that this is also the second story in the series, just like To Be Beautiful, where to be in To Be Beautiful, Eleanor was the overall villain of Fazbear Frights. So kind of the first book in general in Fazbear Frights was very connected to the main Stitch Wraith. You know, you have in, Into the Pit, uh, which the bull pit was like madness. <laughs> it turned out at the end, it was like this weird, yeah, you, you know what I mean. To Be Beautiful set up the main villain of Fazbear Frights, even though we only knew it in like the 8th epilogue, ninth epilogue. And then Count the Ways is actually like, it's like a cliffhanger ending, like d does Millie die? Turns out she did, but she had her happiest day in the final Stitch Rate thing. So like, the first book was very connected and I, I feel like it's gonna be the same way with Tales from the Pizzaplex because we know we have epilogues. So that's very interesting. Okay, then we have Lally's Game follows former model Selena 
who is waiting for the other shoe to drop in her all too perfect life with her handsome fiance. Married life gets off to a rocky start when Selena learns her new husband has secrets connected to a mysterious old trunk. Okay, so we know this is connected to the cover image of the book uh, with the weird PS5 baby and of course the weird like woman behind like wearing a black cloak it's really weird but um i feel like what's going to be in the mysterious old trunk lally or the the robot child you know that's going to be in the trunk um i don't know what that's going to mean though of course this again is the first story in the series and i feel like lally is going to be important in some way but i don't know how I feel like Lally is going to have come from Circus Baby's Pizza World all the way back in the 80s, so that's why it's in a mysterious old trunk. Could the old trunk be the FNAF 4 box? That is a big question that I have, and something that I actually discuss next week on the Darkrooms podcast, which you can uh, listen to in the description. But those are just a few ideas that I've kind of come up with. I don't really know. I think we're just going to have to see. That's very cool though. I, I, I like this idea of like a mysterious old trunk. The husband uh, has like secrets that Selena doesn't know and Lally somehow comes out. Why is it called Lally's Game? Like that, that's, that's my big question. Why is it called Lally's Game? And then the birthday girl Maya or Maya uh, in under construction wants to forget the financial constraints of her reality for a little bit. She celebrates her sweet 16 of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex and finds the one game she wanted to try is not available to customers, but that doesn't stop her. Princess Quest? No, probably not. There's so many arcade machines in the Mega Pizzaplex, could be any of them, but I feel like it could be to do with the arcade conspiracy maybe? I don't know. Obviously, this book or the book series is either a prequel or a sequel to Security Breach. Um, I like to think it's a prequel when the Mega Pizzaplex was thriving and then, you know, Gregory destroys all of the animatronics because that is actually canon to FNAF now. Gregory destroys the Glamrock animatronics and then the Pizzaplex kind of shuts down, I assume. Uh, I assume that happens anyway. So I feel like this this is probably like a prequel showing us what life was like when the Pizzaplex was around. Um, and that's, yeah, that's very interesting. Each finds herself at the mercy of the world they live in. This volume offers a style of horror that readers will be familiar with from their video game lore. Love that. Those who have enjoyed previous novels the games have inspired will appreciate what they will encounter here. I also think that is a brief, like, a tiny little nod to the fact that this could be connected to Fazbear Frights, okay? Just saying, just putting it out there. Uh, a lot of people are saying this is a sequel to Fazbear Frights. I actually personally don't think that. I don't think that this pendant is going to be the Eleanor pendant. Um, I think it's going to be completely different from that. It's going to be separate. But there's a chance, okay? Because we know the Fazbear Frights, it, okay, assume that the Fazbear Frights takes place in the same universe as the game timeline. That would mean that the game timeline happens up to Ultimate Custom Night or whatever, then the Fazbear Frights happen, and then FNAF, or during that time is FNAF VR and FNAF AR, and then Security Breach and Tales from the Peterplex. That's kind of like the timeline of the books as well, I think. So I feel like this would happen before Security Breach. And then finally, they say that the stories have engaging plots that progress with a, sim a clear simplicity suitable for reluctant readers. Accepting Puerto Rican Maya, most main characters present white. Great to know. Anyway, yeah, that's... I'm really excited for this book. Let me know what you think. Let me know all sorts of theories that you have for this. Uh, the box really interests me. The pendant really interests me, and what was the last one about again? <laughs> the, I'll be honest, I'm not really into under construction that much, but oh yeah, arcade conspiracy maybe, possibly, don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below, make sure that you subscribe for more FNAF news in the future, and theory videos, I guess, whenever I want to make them. And I'll be making audiobooks on Lally's game, 
So uh, be sure to stick around for that. Anyway, I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.